welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, the beautiful face on your screen is Unotando Luanda Kabela. To my returning subscribers, to the GeForce, welcome to another video by Uma Kabel. So, as you saw, when I, well, when you pressed on this video, that today is a uh, mukbang, mukbang, whatever, people are correcting my, how I pronounced the, the word, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be doing a mukbang and a story time. You're probably wondering, I'm back, maybe, guys, I was in the ghetto, I was in the ghetto, I was busy with my schoolwork as it was my final year in high school <laughs> so i was still busy with my exams but now like everything is fine it's going back to normal. i'm gonna be uploading every wednesday i'm gonna be back in the game and you guys are gonna be getting content every week and i'm gonna try being consistent so basically what i'm having today is chicken licking wings um Yes, so I'm going to be having chicken chicken wings and um, fish chips while I think while I give you guys a story time yeah yes I'm telling you guys and I have to tell you guys a story time now hello you giving you guys a story time um I'm gonna just jump right into it I'm gonna just jump right into it because I don't want to waste your time or anything like that um I would give you guys the first bite but if you don't know chicken chicken wings then something wrong with you yeah, doesn't let me there you go. Okay, so basically the story happened um it was before before lockdown. So it was before COVID, before all that drama happened. It was before COVID and it's basically the last time my mom gave me an ass whipping and it was the worst thing ever guys and uh and the sad thing it wasn't even my fault you know but i'm always taking one for my brother that's how i just got into that whole situation and my mom beat the shit out of us so basically what happened i don't know really like I don't know where to start the story, but basically what happened was okay, so my mom and I went to Kamakut, okay? When we get there, I know that my two sisters and my two brothers were in a different car. I don't know what happened in that car, but my brother and my sister got left at the park. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> okay, so we're coming back. When we coming back, when my mom and I are coming back, we see the car in front of us. And then my brother, what I need some jelly to there were two bro two brothers of mine and then two sisters, and the two got left in the park. So now they don't know, I don't know what happened, but they were about to take the the left that's taking you to the park. So to pick up the other the other two, but they saw my mom and I behind us. So they were like, no, it's not, it's not worth the risk, man. Let's just go home. So they go home, okay. When they get them, I see my my brother and my sister getting out of the car, I'm like, how? And then my brother's like panicking. She's like, I will let him when the brother started party. You couldn't like go and fetch them because you guys were behind us. I'm like, oh, okay. Because like during those times, I used to go jog in the afternoon anyways. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go like to that park, like jog there and then come back and like come back and like I'm gonna go jump to the park so then come back and um call them and say, okay, where the kind of man okay, it's child. Okay. So I go, I ask my mom, okay, mom, I'm leaving and go to job. It's like okay, shut up. Put up my job and things and I'll buy. Something that they told me to leave my phone. Okay. I left my phone and then guys, there's this place where there's a lot of portions. So now I'm risking because I don't want to my my siblings were getting into trouble so I was like it's not a safe place to even walk but I did it. I took one for the team right so I was driving there and then I think one new part of guys I saw like I think it was a school team but I don't know and he is walking with an orange screwdriver in his hand 
he should have seen me. But I, like, I don't, I don't think he even thought about mugging me or anything like that. Cause you could see I just had my leggings, tackies, and a shirt, and I was just like jogging to like the park. And then I was like, "Sir, what am I doing? Just imagine the colleague busy, but I'm my own work. So I just grab my phone. I was talking to the cook on my phone. I was being really, I was twisting. And then he's like, "Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, I'm good." And I ran for my life. Now it's fine. Now I'm not jogging. I'm sprinting to the park to go call them. Okay. I get to the park. And everyone is just like, things are shaky. I'm like, what's up? They're like, no. There's this um, person that mugged my brother's friend's brother. My brother's friend's brother. I was like, you're talking about the man. Uh, um, a man who was dressed like this and this, this he had an orange screwdriver. So like, yeah, I'm like, ooh, to dodge the bullet. Just imagine if he didn't find anything from my brother's friend's brother. He was gonna mug me and I had nothing, and then he was gonna stab me, guys. <laughs> he was gonna stab me. Okay, so I get to the park, I'm like, okay, guys, you have to leave. This is what has happened. You're gonna come back to face this, you have to leave with me now. Now, when I get there, they're drinking. Now, you know, it's more forgetting that when there's people drinking, and you're the only sober one. You seem down when you're telling them that you have to go home. Like, no, Tando, relax. No, oh, you must relax. Like, we're gonna leave. Bear in mind that I left the house at three. Three o'clock, okay? Fine, I relax. I was like, okay, guys, just 30 minutes and then we vying. It's him. But okay, just 30 minutes and then we vying. Because fine. I told them, then offer me drinks. I'm like, no. Nah. Because during those times I was writing my final my final exams. I was like, no, I can't drink. I was studying at home. Like and I don't need a distraction in jail and stuff. Because I would have to go back and study. And then they're like, no, come on. I'm like, nah. So I turned down the drinks. Okay, fine. And I'm looking at the time. Three goes half past three. I'm like, that is fine. And then my sister ends up getting into a fight with this, with these other girls that were there. Like when I got there. And they were really there. I don't know if when my sister got there, they were there or what. Okay. Then I asked my sister, why are you mad? She's like, no, when I came here, they asked my brother who to who is she? And then my brother told them to know that this is my sister. And then they were like, This is your sister. Tina Sans no Tana Smash no. So she got mad because of that. And then there was a whole drama, you know when there's too many girls in one place. There's always drama and stuff, but there's always gonna be drama. This girl is just dramatic. Okay, fine, the drama starts. Okay, now they're hating each other. Now it's four o'clock. Now you're telling me that I've been out jogging an hour. I'm pretty sure my mom was boiling at that time. Four o'clock. People are hating each other to pop now. I didn't get involved. It was basically the two girls against my sister. One. They're probably like, listen, why won't you help me out? sister, no. Hi, bro. And now to go, three, all three of them were drunk, but I was sober. We are about to nobody know that I need to, like what the flip. I'm trying to like, stop everything. This is just straining the shit out of these girls. And I'm just like, oh my god, now there's no, like I can't go home. Because I just heard that that person who I, just, I almost went down on my knees greeting is a part of that. Remember, they could send me to, now it's four o'clock. So, which means. I'm gonna get mugged now. I'm like, I'm not going home by myself. These people better come with me. So, okay, we fuse the fire. I got the fire. Everyone is like, fine, and all those things. Pay man, it was for the time. Probably everything got back to me, and people started leaving at like five. So, you know, I went to drive for two hours. You tell me I went to drive for two hours. And I'm walking back home. In my head, I'm just like, it's child. I'm gonna die today. Like I'm legit going to die today. And then my brother said, "No, relax. You know, I know how to talk, mom, out of things. I don't know who is right. Like all the time, my brother does something. He never gets in trouble because he just knows how to talk, mom, out of things. Okay, fine. So I'm walking back home. When you're walking back home, it's dark. We're ringing the intercom, and my other siblings are like, "It's Chai. You guys are gonna get beaten." You guys are gonna shit on yourself. I mean, at the back of my head, I'm like, I do. They always say that because my mom is romantic, she's gonna shout, my mom's gonna slap me, and then she's gonna be fine, you see? And then I'm gonna get over it. We walk in, and we're gonna be walking by reception. 
mainstream looking to another door. So we went and level and then we sit at the dining room. So my parents have their own um, living room and we have our own living room. So I sit there and then she calls my brother. I'm God! I'm like, yeah, my yeah. So I'm like, okay, it's better if he's gonna get in trouble because this is all day for old girl. Me, I was just trying to help out. I was just trying to help out by going to call them because now it was because like yeah boy, I was just taking one from the team and helping out my siblings okay fine so we get there oh my brother goes my mom calls you this thing I hear the door slamming and he's boom 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 and he hit my brother and in the back of my head I'm like I'm next I'm next when I'm when I get to Kinsu, my brother comes out now. I didn't see my brother, didn't see how he was. Then, then my mom shouts my name. She's in the room. If not my house, my mom's room is far away from our living room. But I heard it like people shout my name. Then I woke up. Okay, fine. I'm like, you know what? Take this like a champ, bro. You're going to get your ass open, go to sleep, and that's fine. I get there. My mom, you know a broom? Do you know how thick those broomsticks are? She she split it in half and she was hitting us with that, bruv. I get in I get in a room. She didn't even talk. She didn't even say I'm like, holy shit. The first hit was fine. Like it was gonna hit me here, 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 here. First hits were fine. The problem started when she started hitting me in the same place. Now she's hurting me. Bruh, I started screaming. I started screaming, guys. I scream so loud in my life. Like one thing about me, if if a mom hits me, I don't cry because I'm like I'm a bad bitch, so I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna like look at it straight to the eyes. The first thing I was like, do you see that I'm not doing anything? I'm not even checking. She's looking at me, and then she came for my thighs. Ah. <laughs> I was trying. I started hitting me so hard. I started screaming. And then my brother comes in. And then she starts my mom. And she gets in between us. Because she knows it's not my fault. He knows it's not my fault. Mm. He knows it's not my fault. Okay? He starts us takes me out of the room. Okay? To get to my room, guys. My thighs were green. Green. My back was red and green. My butt, bro. It was times 15, like it was so huge. Uh, I was swollen. And the, the, the funny thing is that I wasn't even mad at my mom because I know okay, okay, she said to me, was like, come on, make sense, you know. I wasn't mad at my sister, I don't know, I was like, holy shit, I was worried about this is my table. I remember going to my room and then I told my friends, I started taking pictures of my table because look what happened. And I was green, black. Red all over the place. And then obviously when I sat down at the room, like when my mom, my mom called us after she she gave us the ass work. Obviously I didn't wanna show that I'm hurting. When I when I sat down and she do it. But still keep the straight face, I'm okay, when I am hurting now, this girl is hurting man. And then I, I didn't even answer anything. The two Troublemakers that were at the park started talking, started lying about what happened. What made us like stay at the park so late? And that, they started saying that they got involved in the park because those girls bullied me at school. I just looked at them. I, looked, I, I, was, I was mad actually. I'm lying. I was mad at them. Not at my mom, but at my siblings. I was mad at my siblings. Okay. Guys, it took me like a good three months. For those things to like fade away. I think I still have like a few spots on my thighs. I still have a few spots on my thighs because like it was really bad. I wish like I still had pictures, but it's so long ago. I don't have the pictures anymore. I won't, but that's probably the last time she'll ever do that. Because I said it, because I'll never do that again myself. Like I'll never take one from my brother. If he's not there, he's not there. Maybe he's trouble. Hmm? 
And I didn't even study because I was like, I'm gonna go back home and study more. And the worst thing, my mom started shouting at me because they smelled like alcohol. And I'm like, no, I was walking with angels that day. Just imagine if I accepted that alcohol. You know, I was gonna drink and then my mom was smelling on me and she was gonna faint. She was legit gonna die. A little girl drinks with alcohol. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. She was gonna kill me even worse. And I, like, I know that my, my mom and dad hit my brother, but my mom is the only one to hit me. My dad wasn't gonna hit me. But I'm pretty sure he knew. He's like, this can't be the time to fault, bro. They're probably writing at her. If there's something for her to do this, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, the moral of the story is if your siblings are in trouble, leave them. Leave them like that. Don't take one for the team. Because you're gonna be in trouble. But yeah. That's the end of my story, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you respect your parents. Don't stay out so late because you're going to get an ass whipping like me. Yeah? So basically, this was a 16 piece wings. So you get what I'm saying? And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight left. I'm kind of full. I think it's the Coke. I hope you can see. I think it's the Coke that fooled me. But yeah, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Show it to friends, share it to family. No one's enjoying the subscribe beta to my subscribers, and your mom hasn't subscribed. Hi, bro. Subscribe to her phone. Bye, guys. See you next week.